Good afternoon guys. Hope you're doing well. Kisanu here. My name is Debbie. Today I'm going to take you to the dangerous streets of Nairobi. Yes, Nairobi. Previously I uploaded a video about Gidurai and I said Gidurai is well known because of theft. You guys, my good fans, you came for me. Eh? You came for me on the comment section and you are like, you girls, stop lying. We have security in Gidurai. Oh my god. You know, I live like uh, it takes me 20, 20 cents to get to Gidurai eh? by, by a bus or a matatu. And then it's like a two minutes. When you take a bus, it's two minutes to Gidurai from where I stay. So, you guys, I know all the facts. So, before coming here and start judging me that I'm lying, I'm saying this, blah, 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 please get all your facts right because me, I have all my facts. I know Gidurai, there's theft and it's well known because of theft and good groceries and everything. Okay, anyway, I've turned into a motivational speaker. So, what I was saying is, guys, I have all the facts right. Before I take a video, I need to do a research and get all the things that I need to know before I go out and start, you know, doing the shooting. So anyway, that was a by the way. So let's get straight into the video. I'm going to take you to the dangerous streets of Nairobi today and um, let's get to see how these streets are. I'm not saying I'm going because you guys, I'm saying dangerous, dangerous. Do you know the dangerous streets? It's not even good for me as well. Yeah, my phone, my security. I need also to take care so my plan for today is to go and take a bus and then i'm trying i will try like uh you know record from inside the bus because this the streets are not you know good they're so dangerous that's why i stayed there dangerous streets i'm not going to hold my camera like this oh these are the dangerous streets no i'm going to take a bus and try recording from the bus so without further ado i know i've talked too much, too much, too much, but let's get straight into the video. Let's go. And if you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe, like, don't forget to share, okay? So that when I upload a video, you can come here and, you know, be the first one to watch and comment. Sawa, sawa. So let's do this. Let's go. Right now it's 12. I'm going to, you know, I want to take you to the dangerous and busiest streets. They are dangerous and they are busy. They are dangerous because they are busy. You know, we have crowd, crowds of people. Let's go. I'm waiting for the time when people will be from work. That's when we will go. So, keep watching. Let's go, guys. Yay! So, later that evening, guys, as I told you, I took uh, the bus. And this is me in the streets of Nairobi. So, this is Tomboya Street. And this is how busy it is. Can you guys see? This is what I was telling you earlier. That the streets are flooded with people. Hmm? Flooded with people. Yeah, and this is what I meant. But again, guys, one thing you need to know about Nairobi, we are very disciplined people. You can see these guys who are queuing here on the Chicken Inn. Yeah, those guys are waiting for the bus to go home. Like, how disciplined are Kenyans? Very disciplined. Many bus stations, they have that rule that you have to queue and wait for the bus. No struggling. Yeah, life life has to be soft. We didn't. We don't have to struggle much. Anyways, so these are the real streets of Nairobi, and you guys can see people are flooded. Like, hey, hey, hey! Is it a tsunami? Is it a tsunami of people? <laughs> Anyways, this is how the typical streets of Nairobi looks like. So this is along Tomboya Street, and these are dangerous streets. I say dangerous. When I say dangerous, I mean in terms of security. Here, when you hold your phone carelessly or your bag carelessly, forget about it. Okay, forget about the phone and the bag. So you need to be very, very cautious and careful about your stuff when passing along these streets. Can you all guys see these streets? They are so flooded. So you can't tell me that these streets, they lack this. Can you guys tell me that? Can you convince me that these streets, they don't have thieves? Of course they do. They do many thieves. Okay, so yeah so we have a lot of people they are from work and they're heading home and i'm here trying to record them i'm oh they say like record <laughs> sorry i'm so sorry i'm here trying to record them and everything so as i told you guys i took the bus and i'm inside the bus i'm recording from inside the bus from behind oh i've given you my secrets anyways <laughs> so i'm inside the bus and recording from behind 
yeah so this is how the typical streets of nairobi looks like very busy very busy streets hmm and then this is tomboya we have not gone to my avenue oh my good lord they are so busy they're so cloudy and this is the reason why i hate town i hate going to town because of this So this is along my avenue guys and we have few people they are going to they are heading to downtown uh, in Tomboya Street yeah so this is not jam we have traffic police controlling the traffic yeah and you guys oh my goodness can you all see these people okay this ones they want to go across oh no why are these people so many we only have a Falcom shop and a statue of Tomboya we are so many people I know guys the camera decided to misbehave anyways you guys I know that's a, a, a nightmare for uh, for introverts oh my good lord introverts I feel you I know this is a nightmare when you have clouded people when you have many people at the same time oh my goodness I feel you guys I'm not an introvert but I feel like ah, ah this is too much anyway we have reached our destination i'm going to alight this bus and then go back and show you guys what's happening i need to know what's happening yeah so let's alight the bus and then we go back back and I, then i'm gonna show you what's happening in that statue yeah so let's alight we also have people here waiting for the bus so this bus they are going to to board this bus i think so so we have so many people again on this side Yani Nairobi is so full of people. There's no single day you can go to Nairobi and find few people. It was only that day for, you know, demonstrations. That's when we didn't have people. But nowadays, oh my good lord, we have lots of people. Anyways, let me take you back and show you what's happening. Actually, guys, <laughs> there's nothing happening. People are rushing home. People are going to the other side of Tomboya Street to board Matatus to go to their various homes. And um, the reason why we have a crowd of people is because there's a queue. We have uh, like three queues here around people waiting for the bus to go to the side of Thika. Yeah, so this is where they bought the matatus. So they're waiting for the matatus. And we also have something like promotion, you know, phone promotion. We have Nokia. You can see that tent we have. That's where many people are. And that's where we also have the queue. So I think we have a promotion and we have the queue. That's why we have lots of people. I was wondering, oh my God, what's happening? Anyways, there's nothing much in town. Yeah. And we have people selling SIM cards. You can always come here, guys, and promote them. Yeah. So there's nothing much. Let's keep going. So this is the end of this video, guys. Bye-bye. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share. See you in my next video. Bye.